This is Jeremy Tesmer with SGTV. When the giant Coreopsis are blooming out on the point, you can bet that Hank Pitcher will be out there to paint them. It doesn't matter if his show is set to open in less than a week. It doesn't matter if there are paintings still wet on the easel that are set to hang in that show. When the Coreopsis are blooming, Hank makes time to go see them. And to paint them. He told me that the winds are so fierce out there that they will blow the blooms off. Their brief, joyful moment requires celebration, and Hank makes time for that. In his new exhibition, That Devotion, Hank's presence to place pays off big. He's also onto something new here, or rather, an idea that's been developing for the last six years or so can now be seen in full flower. In the past, Hank has been known for his cool, graphic depictions of life in Central California. In 2013, he made a 17-foot-wide triptych of the Devereaux Slough called Spring in his new studio. As far as I can remember, it was the first time we saw forms emerging from underneath clouds of transparent color. At the time, I wondered if it was unfinished or intentional. Hank assured me that he was happy with the finished work. Then in 2016, he painted an English garden called Will You Marry Me? with the same veils of color. Selected forms that were sharp and rendered created rhythm and focus in these large diaphanous color fields of lavender. The central stand of flowers, too, emanates from a translucent mass of green. And now, here we are in 2019 with a group of works that have absorbed Hank almost totally over the last year. The ice plant, the aloes, and the giant coreopsis bloom and pop in rhythmic patterns that emerge and submerge from these veils of green and orange. The effect is positively magical, metaphysical even. It's hard not to think of the floral landscapes of the late 19th century French artist Odillon Redon. These also remind me of the ecstatic landscape hallucinations of Charles Birchfield, who held his own in the American avant-garde from outside of Buffalo, New York in the 20s, 30s, and 40s. Art historians often use the word visionary with these artists. And so must we in this new body of Hank Pitcher's work. The surfboard isn't planted in the sand anymore. It floats like the SpaceX rockets up at Vandenberg. The bees who buzz around these wild radishes in the spring sun have taken on mythic dimension here. They take up as much psychological space now as a larger animal. In enlarging them to make the picture work, Hanks also managed to tell us how important these insects are to the functioning of our little Arcadia. Seriously, this exhibition will probably leave you buzzing, too. There's so much here, so much nuance, so much presence, so much color. It's like seeing the world anew. It is like seeing a primal world. A world so fresh, so immense, and so pulsing with power that our human dramas seem almost laughably small. Hank Pitcher, Primal, will be on view now through April 21st. Come see it.